Good morning, everyone. Welcome on into North Dakota today. Dakota Estates offers affordable senior housing designed to promote independence and well being. This nonprofit organization caters to elderly and disabled individuals, providing comfy apartments with essential services. Joining us this morning with more information, we have Betty and Hope. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes, nice to see you both. And I hear there are some exciting updates going on with yeah. Dakota Estates. What's going on? So yeah, we have, uh, since last time we were on the show, I think about a year ago, yeah. we've um, put on a new roof. Wow. And we've also done lots of remodeling within the building itself. Um, gutting rooms, completely redoing rooms so the place feels homing, like homey yeah. and inviting when um, that person walks in to check us out. Which is so essential for when that's where, you know, where you yeah, live, it's yeah. your home, you want a comfy space that yeah. you feel good in. So just tell us about Dakota Estates and what you offer. So we, like, like you said before, we offer independence. So basically, you know, you c we would like for the seniors to be able to come to us yeah. and still feel independent. We're not taking that away from them. Um, what we offer is to be able to do those simple things for them that are still kind of hard to do at home, yeah. um, but we do that for them. So like we still have some residents that are in our facility that are actually still in the workforce. Okay. Um, they just rent a room from us and they absolutely love it. Um, they get their, their rooms cleaned once a week um, and so they're still able to be independent out in the workforce and live with us. Yeah, that sounds great to me. Yeah. So <laughs> what would we say is really the overall mission of the community and the housing and, and the residents? We just really like to provide that comfort to our residents mm -hmm. that they're close to family or close or they make family when they move to Lidgerwood mm -hmm. if you're from another community and they can be as independent as they want to mm -hmm. but they can also uh, go out and do activities and interact with others and not feel lonely like you might mm -hmm. um, if you tend to get separated living alone. So is this available for tours? Are families allowed to come on out and get a tour and get a feel for the grounds and everything? Yeah, so just show up whenever and <laughs> somebody will give you a tour, whether that's me or somebody else. But our door is always open and we're always looking and waiting for people to come check us out. Okay, remind us where you are located and, and how to find you online as well. Yeah, we are um, located in Lidgerwood, North mm -hmm. Dakota, and you can be find us at dakotaestates.org. So a big focus on independence, as we've just been talking yeah. about. Why is that? Why, what is that sense of well-being that you want to provide for your residents? Well, from a personal standpoint, my mother-in-law recently was um, a resident there, and she had, for many years, being a strong 94-year-old, had oh. wanted to live alone, yep. wanted to um, do all her own things, mm -hmm. and some medical things presented, and she ended up moving into Dakota Estates, mm -hmm. but she found the camaraderie of uh, old friends and neighbors there. Mm -hmm. Just amazing to have that support, mm -hmm. not only from her family, we could go in um, and be with her very closely, but she she reconnected with old friends yeah. and s realized quickly that hey this is the place that I really want to be and I'm very comfortable here yeah. and I can do all the things I did before uh, but I don't have to worry at night that I'm alone sure. um, so if something would arise there is someone to take care of me yeah a very social supportive setting but also in the realm of safety this is For you know sure. kind of checking yes. all the boxes huh right yes. and what are some of those social activities and kind of arrangements that you guys have yeah so we like I said we do the three meals a day yeah um, so they don't have to cook any meals mm -hmm. we do the housekeeping for them um, we do bathing assistance if that person needs sure you know just a little bit of assistance in the shower um, we have fun activities ranging from horses coming to visit us mm -hmm. um, you know equine therapy uh, poetry um, just different activities to keep your mind going and lots um, of arts and crafts and yeah thing, fun things yeah so just lots of different stuff so like I said you know we um, just do lots of different fun activities so you know you mentioned your your family as well and how she wanted to be alone and wanted to be independent and do everything on her own and then mm -hmm. kind of realized this was exactly yeah. what she needed is that yes. what you find typically tends to happen with residents and their families? Yes, if we could have had her on the show, she would say <laughs> over every time we visited, I don't know why I waited so long. This was a great yeah. decision to yeah. live here and uh, we want more people to have that comfort and enjoy the space. And we're having a community um, kind of open house luncheon coming up. We're doing mm -hmm. soup and sandwich where people can come check us yeah. out and have lunch with the residents and interact and do the tours or that sort of thing. And, yeah. the, and Hope can give you more details on that. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So, and actually, too, this year was our 50th anniversary. Aww. So we are planning a big 50th celebration. Yeah. Um, when that's going to be, we're still in the works, but yeah. we're excited to share that. We've been open for 50 years, mm -hmm. and um, we want the community and everyone to join us. So Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. So what are the details for that? How do we get involved? Um, so we have to set a date yet. We don't know exactly <laughs> what we're doing yet, but... Um, you can find more information on our Facebook page okay. and our website, um, along with these community luncheons. We like to have the community come in, yeah. have a lunch with us, and just interact with the residents, and mm -hmm. it's just um, it's just a great time. I love yeah. that. Well, yes. thank you both so much for coming on. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah I wish you the best it. of luck. Congrats on all the upgrades and everything you guys yes. needed to get done. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, coming up next, I think we're hanging out with the Red River Zoo. Stick around, everybody. More happening here on North Dakota Today.